There's one. <laughs> Let's go get him. <laughs> Come on, mate. I want to play. I want to play racing cars. Come all the way to Holland. Uh. Right, there's a pack. There's a pack. There's a pack. Let's get them. Well, hello everybody, welcome along to the 4X Addicts once again for the series that you chose. This is the GT4 Fixed in the McLaren. You chose GT4 Fixed for me for the whole season and you chose the McLaren 570S for the whole season. I've not had much luck in this car and looking <laughs> at previous races, it's not a popular car again. Having a quick scan for the previous two splits, the top split races, the previous two before I jump on board here. There's not many McLarens to be seen. Personally, I don't feel like the McLaren's too bad around here. Not as bad as it has been at Watkins Glen and Mossport. And in fact, in this race, we'll see that another person, car number one, has decided to use the McLaren. Which shows that actually this week, it's not so bad. How do we do? Well, that's what we're here to find out. We've got a decent amount of pace. It's not the most popular track car combo. And so we're in a single split once again here on a Wednesday morning. There's a great mix of talent here and we really need to stay at the front of the grid to try and avoid any turn one chaos. Now, <laughs> easier said than done. Without revealing any more, let's head over to Quali and see how we do. Okay, we joined the session now. I'm um, coming to the end of the warm-up just before Quali uh, and having a quick look at the ping there. Um, it's a US server that we're on, and so, you know, people dotted all around the world, but the guys in Europe and Australia and that obviously got high ping. Bear that in mind as much as we can when we're battling with people. Um, high ping means potential netcode. But hey, quali's about to start, so we'll head out for quali, and we'll see where we finish on the grid. It, it, it looks clear. Okay, Damo, we've got two laps. Let's get this done. Okay, Jim. So, as always, bank a lap and then a fast lap, or hopefully faster lap. And we want to be in the top half of the grid if possible to try and avoid any potential carnage. See where we end up. Okay, let's start a banker lap. Try and not make any mistakes, get a lap time on the board. No instant points. Make sure we're not right at the back of the grid. Nice late apex around this one. Right, push a bit harder this time. But that banker lap, I'm really happy with. If we can actually match our delta, that's really good. So that's actually my fastest ever lap around here. But I think low track, track temperatures have got something to do with that. See if we can beat that by a little bit. A little bit wide going around that one's cost me a couple of attempts. Not sure we're going to be able to make that up. It's such a short lap. New fastest lap from Jordan, 103.59. We'll certainly give it a go. The car ahead has just done it, 104.33. 
Nah, I'm a bit late on the throttle there. So it looks like the banker lap. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to make that up on a flat out section. The banker lap is what we're going to rely on. Oof, and we're going to be P4 at the very best. We'll wait until the rest of the drivers finish and see if we finish up. Okay, so the end of the session, and we've managed to maintain that P4. Um, obviously, people were quite quick to finish their qualifying laps, only a one minute lap around here. And so, um, yeah, so that's stuck. 104.361, less than a tenth of what would have got us a P2. But then there's a big old gap, nearly eight tenths of a second up to P1, car number one, which is obviously, he's got a really high I rating. So I head to the grid, try not to keep everyone waiting for too long, and see how we do. Because so we're on the grid, about to start the rolling start. And immediately we see right in front of us, Reese Gordon again, who we had a great battle with at Watkins Glen. He actually ended up beating me. Um, so hopefully we'll have a good battle with him and he won't just disappear in the distance. Like I said, the qualifying, really, really close. He was less than a tenth quicker than me in quali. Um, good to see some familiar faces on the grid. Right, let's do this warm-up lap. Follow car number two in the right column. Okay, so coming around to the end of the warm-up lap now. Reese in front has had his foot on the brake the whole way round. Obviously keen to get as much heat into his brakes and therefore into his wheels and tyres as much as he possibly can. The McLaren on the right hasn't done so much of that. But we're waiting for the start now. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> Fingers crossed we make it around turn one. It is potential carnage because it's such a tight corner. and such a big pack behind. Let's get around this first lap and then see how we do. I really want to be on the inside of turn one, but I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to make that happen. So we'll have to just hang it around the outside, I think, unless a gap appears. Okay, Damo, nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Go. We've got a bit of a run at Reese here. So we're hanging around the outside. Oh, yep. And of course, people have got into each other. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, you guys go. Go, go, go. Oh, there's everybody. Come on, guys. Right, last on the grid. Can we get round? Of course, we tried to hang it around the outside and people inevitably caught us. Right. Is the car too damaged to continue? <laughs> or is this going to be... 15 minutes. Start, 15 minutes of trying to catch people up. Let's have a look. The car's drivable. We've got no meatball yet. Right, see if we can catch people. I say this is a damage limitation race now. There's one. <laughs> Let's go get him. <laughs> Come on, mate. I want to play. I want to play racing cars. Come all the way to Holland. Uh. Right, there's a pack, there's a pack, there's a pack. Let's get them. Whew. Steering's a little bent, but you know what? It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Could have been so much worse getting collected like that. If we stay out of trouble. Oh, Reese is in the pit, so Reese. Obviously, we were alongside going into turn one. Has ended up in the pits, what a shame. Oh, my head's in the game, Jim. My head's in the game. Don't you worry about that, fella. Oh, a bit of understeer. Let's see if we can pick this guy off. Which way are you going, mate? Which way are you going? There's someone else. Woo! No, 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 no! Right, don't hit the barrier. Oh, hit the barrier. Come on, we've got to beat Reese. No! Reese will be repaired, I'm guessing, since he pitted. He'll have had his fast repair. <laughs> so we are battling, Reese. But for not last.
This isn't quite what we expected, is it? Okay, we'll make the best of it. Oh. Right. Who fancies a fight? Anyone up there fancy a fight? Let's see what we can do. I'll get my <laughs> mid-race shout-out done now for Barrack Bergman. BB Racing on YouTube. You'll find a link to his channel in the description for this video. He um, is really new to iRacing. Well, he's, he's, you know, making videos for iRacing. He's over 2k i rating, so he's a good one to watch. Very chilled guy. Right, let's see if we can get past this Mercedes again. <laughs> Without spinning this time. Reese has got him. Oh, he's run wide there. Don't come back on. Fastest lap for Jordan, 103.68. Right, Dylan Jordan's in the 103s. We've got no chance of that with this car now. Yeah, the steering's pointing slightly left on the straights. Right, so Ryan Larkin is the one that... Reese is currently chasing eight and a half seconds. Can we catch him as well? 17th place. That lap was at 105.40. Right. We're going to lose 112 by <laughs> rating if we finish here. 112. Oh well. I really want to be inside for that turn one. Just. Should have been. Seconds. I just should have been more sensible, shouldn't I? Try and go around the outside and trust in people to not go into me. I don't know. We'll have a look at the replay, of course. After the race. See if maybe I pinched them. Maybe it was on me. But I think someone's probably run into Reese, And he's then bumped into me. Can't get around those quick corners at that speed, Damien. Come on, what are you doing? 7x already! Right, okay. <laughs> We're going to be losing safety rate in here as well. All right, Damo. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Right, why isn't there more carnage, guys? Come on, start hitting each other. <laughs> so we've still got 8 seconds up to the next guy. I just haven't got the pace in this car. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hi. Great going. Oh, oh, oh. That sounded like something has happened. And we're now catching Clay quite quickly. There's smoke. Where is he? Where is he? He's over there. Oh, if his car's not damaged, we're going to struggle to catch him. We'll do our best, though. He's running wide. Are we going to get a toe down here? We've got a lift right in this corner, though. Uh, understeer, look. Turning slightly left, of course, to go straight. <laughs> break slightly earlier than I want to because I don't know when this guy's going to have to break. Don't overdrive the car. P16. Right, it says P16, so it's overtaken someone else. Someone's disconnected. Ah, come on. Another person's disconnected. You guys keep disconnecting. That sounds great to me. <laughs> Maybe I will lose less than 100 I rating. I can't even keep up with Clay. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll do my best, guys. Okay, Teruki Takahashi. I think he disconnected. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.1. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. Sector 2 is a second off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.5 off the pace. 
Slow, slow, slow. I think we're losing 101 I rating where we are right now. One more position and we'll only lose <laughs> double digits rather than triples. Oh, thanks, Jim. <laughs> Bit of good news there. <laughs> oh, I'm going for third gear. I'm already in it. Oh, Clay, I can't catch up with you, mate. Make mistakes. Okay. In front of Clay is Anthony, who's six seconds up the road. Can we catch Anthony at least? I'm not sure we're capable of catching anybody, but we'll still keep pushing. <laughs> I don't want to get lapped either. The race lead is just 20 seconds behind me on the road. Come on, one more place. One more place so we don't lose over 100 I rating. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so Clay is still pulling away, but the guy in front of him is only five seconds up the road. I'm a second lap down on what I really want to be. See them in front. You've just done a 105 and 5 1. 105.5. Oh, come on, Damien. You got a break earlier than that. I'm second down already on this lap. What am I doing? Right, let's channel my inner BB Racing. My Barrett Bergman. Just chill out, man. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Yeah, cool. Five minutes to go, yeah, all right. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 2.9 seconds. Good driving by Clay. Five and a half up to Anthony. I'm sort of ignoring Clay because he's just quicker than me, but I think Anthony is close, it's close. That lap was at 106.12. That was a bit better, Damo. 16th place. Round you go, bugger. Uh oh, that was rubbish. Oh, I have to get off the throttle again. Yeah, see, Anthony's still 5.9 ahead. Only real chance of making up another position is if other people start battling, start making mistakes. It's the trouble when you only get a chance to do one race during the week. If you have a bad one like this, you're not going to get many points out of this. I mean, the strength of field for this one's only 1.7k. 
there's not a lot of points on offer at all and then if you're near the bottom it's going to be one of my drop weeks I should imagine for the championship okay so Clay has got past Anthony oh <laughs> I'm looking at the relative are you push 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 we can catch this car oh Clay moaning at Anthony that lap time was 106.00 we'll have a look at everyone's instance we'll have a look at that one of course the clay's been in the wars. Oh. So we're not losing 100 I rating this time. <laughs> Is that a win? Should we call that a win? Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, mate. I mean, we're not finished the race yet. Oh. Understeer, Dave. I remember that. All oh, right. Okay. That's what I'm doing wrong. Is it, Jim? <laughs> oh. Right. Come to the end of lap 12, so it'll be two after this one. Unless Jordan manages to catch and pass me when he's only 10 seconds behind. We'll try and stay on this lead lap because you never know what's going to happen on that last lap. Someone might make a mistake. We want to do as many laps as we can. We'll lose 79 I rating here. Which is just put us just below the 2.6k mark of it. That'll put us down at 2.5s. Yeah, still 10 seconds to Ryan. Now we get Ryan in one lap. I don't know, but I've managed to get onto this final lap. So I'm happy. <laughs> I didn't get lapped. Come on. One more to go. Okay. People are going to start disconnecting in a second just to rub it in, aren't they? Dylan's crossed the line. Take the checkered flag. Attard is now leading. No, he's not, Jim. Don't get excited. Two to go. Corners, that is, not laps. <laughs> Final corner. I don't think anyone's going to make any more mistakes. P14. Is Jim going to be angry at me? Please be gentle, Jim. Please be gentle. We'll see. P14. P14. There we go. It's over. Bring it back round. I don't think I will, Jim. I'm going to just leave it here. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> way we wanted it to go um, and we didn't really get into any battles but hey we'll have a look at everyone's instance including that first corner one and then we'll check out the results right well before we have a look at everyone's instant points we're gonna have a look at this start of this race again so the leader we know got a really good start and jumped and then the three behind went three wide let's see <laughs> from the TV camera what that looked like So we're following here the blue car on the left there. So we're free ride at that point. Reese perhaps comes over a bit and then, of course, I just get collected up in it. Okay, let's have another look from a different camera angle. Oh, what happened to him then? He then spun off. Okay. So car number one shoots off. We then go either side. When you're free wide, the people on the outside have to stay tight to the outside and the person in the middle has just got to try and stay in the middle. I'm not sure whether the guys in the Porsches necessarily did that. Um, I'll have a look at one more time. 
I tried to stay on the outside. So my, my main concern straight away is that I, I'm hoping that I didn't do anything wrong here. So I tried to make sure that I stayed as far left as I could. And I think that kind of happened and then that happened. Okay. So let's have a look at the guy in the blue car. Did he stay as close to the white line as possible? Not really. He sort of comes across. And then I'll have a look again. Let's have a look at whether Reese tries to stick here right in the middle of the road. He's sort of drifted over a little bit there. Yeah, they, it's hard to pin blame on anyone there, but I think we were definitely kind of like a bit of a victim of all that. But never mind. <laughs> this stuff happens, doesn't it? That's, that's the problem with the outside of turn one. As I said at the start of the race, I really want to be on that inside, and I kind of took a bit of a gamble going around the outside. So, although I don't feel I did much wrong, it's kind of, I, I perhaps could have done something to prevent my part of that by just not being involved in that. I mean, I want to try and fight for the position. Um, if we go on board with Reese, I think we'll see that I was getting a good run at him down this straight uh, cockpit. So, um, let's have a look here. See, I mean, I've, I've got my side, so I can see me coming along here. It might appear on your screen as well. Now, I don't quite appear, but I've got a really good run down the outside. I can see why Reese would definitely feel that he was he was innocent there. Let's have another look. Yeah, I think he just drifts a little bit too far to the right. But in cockpit, it doesn't feel like he does at all. It feels like you're in the middle of the track here. One more time, we'll have a look. I think he's, he's drifting a little bit to the right there. And he's in the middle again here. Yeah, there's definitely room on the inside for the other car. So we'll have a look on board the other car as well, who was Nathan. Let's see what he would have seen. Okay, so he's obviously trying to get up the inside of car number two here. Gets an okay start, immediately goes right to the right hand side, running on that line. It comes in a little bit there, just to squeeze, but we're, we're clearly free wide at this point, I can see on my monitor. Yeah, and it seems like he's kind of held his line. I think both guys will definitely feel like they've held their line. Just see if he, yeah, he just spins there. They will definitely each feel like they've held their line. It's only when you go off board and you feel like they perhaps both drift a little bit towards each other. They just both go for the same bit of road. Anyway, it's a shame. Let's look at everyone else's instant points. First one, of course, is going to be <laughs> turn one. Those two coming together. And I think that white Mercedes got involved in that as well. Yep, and he then bumps me as he's coming round. And then, of course, we see a bit of a spin. And does he get collected then? As people come round? No. It gets well out of the way. Okay, what happens up here? Oh, the Mercedes, the car number four, trying to make up ground maybe, getting a bit keen. And then we see a guy in front of Reese spinning, and Reese manages to avoid it. 14 car, where's he going now? Yeah, no problems there. Okay, what's this Mercedes doing? Now? 18 car, just running wide. Is it going to rejoin poorly? No. So this happened just in front of us. Okay, we'll stick with this then because, of course, we then come round and <laughs> light up the rear tyres. And round we go. What a muppet. He then runs off again and this time we do actually get past him. Have a nice little spin there. Okay, so this was... Ah, so this is what happened in front. Okay, the 11. I had to go up the inside. And Clay, I don't think, was expecting it. Ended up in the gravel. Okay, six cars, Mercedes. Oh, there's someone recovering. Oh, I just clipped him. The 18 was recovering there. I think probably a lap down. Yeah, and that's damaged the Mercedes. Damaged the Mercedes. Let's have a look at that again. So he just turns in and the car does, is having none of it. Okay, this is a different Mercedes against the, uh, the North Korea car. Okay. 
<laughs> a bit of a tap. Well, a bit militant there from the Mercedes against North Korea. Okay, a McLaren being chased by a Porsche. What's going to happen here? Oh, what is happening here? Oh, I can see why Clay was angry. Let's have a look at that again. So the McLaren's coming around. For some reason decided, oh, actually, you know what? I might as well pit. Slams his foot on the brake here. Oh, really poor driver by the 15. Really poor. I can see why Clay was unhappy. Oh, there's me. <laughs> me overtaking someone. That's what it takes. I need big mistakes like that to actually overtake people. And that's it. That's it for this race. Is that all that happened? I was involved in most of that. Right. Okay, let's have a look at the results. Okay, here we go with the results for the GT4 Falcatar Challenge fixed on the Wednesday morning. The usual slot. And of course, <laughs> double red. Double red. No surprise there at all. So we've dropped below the 2.6k I rating. Not too worried about that. We only lost... Double figures. <laughs> so take that as a win. Um, after that turn one, what can you do? What can you do? Hey, got to, be, got to stay positive. So at least we only lost 79. Uh, 1701 strength of field. Uh, Dylan, of course, 6K nearly. Um, he was going to get a win, wasn't he? Uh, managed to get into the 103s as well. Uh, we ended up uh, in P14 after qualifying P3. Um, we scooped up a massive 24 championship points, which is going to be absolutely nothing at the end of the season. We're going to get rid of those on the drop score. But there we go. We didn't get lapped, which is quite good. And we managed to pick off a few of these people who did get lapped, uh, mainly through incidents. At least we survived. We go on to fight another day. Right, guys. <laughs> Not the race we wanted. But, hey, we never give up, do we? So, bad turn one. I don't know if I could have done much more um, to, to prevent it. Hindsight is always great, of course, and you think, right, you know, maybe just stay right out of any battle like that at all. But I think that's very, very hard to predict. Let me know in the comments what you think. But we managed to keep going. We didn't lose as much I rating as we perhaps would have done. Uh, we lost a bit of safety rating, but you know what? I think what I'm going to do is the, um, there's a Nürburgring Endurance Championship race coming up on Saturday. I'm going to see if I can make that work. So I might do a live stream for that, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and that'll help me get my safety rating back, hopefully. But there we go. So this is the Sandfort edition of the GT4 Fix series, the series that you chose. Um, and we've managed to come away with about 20 points from it. But never mind. Never mind. I hope you've enjoyed the video nonetheless. I hope that you've seen that even if things aren't going your way, there's still stuff to race for. If your steering's bent and you're running last and Jim's having a go at you, carry on. You never know what's going to happen. Um, but it was a good race. I, I don't mind this track. I quite like it. At least the qualifying was sort of okay. Um, and we move on. We move on to the next round. Wherever that's going to be next week, of course, I'll be here on a Wednesday morning with another video. But until then, make sure you give the video a like if you haven't already given it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? I need you to subscribe. When you do subscribe, you can go into your notifications. There's a bell in there. Set that to all. It'll tell you when I go live, which I might be doing this Saturday, or when I put a new video out like this. But until next time, have a great week or weekend, whatever it is you're going to do. And I'll leave you with a couple of videos that I think you're going to want to watch.